Well, howdy. Hope you're doing all right whenever you happen to be watching this. So, I was thinking about how life is kind of like a highway or a road. And I'm an extreme personality. I take things to their limits. And I've seen the end of the road and the bridge is out. And that's what Jesus has been telling us is that there's one path to him. And if you take the other path, you're just going to end up coming off a dead end bridge. The road is out. It's a dead end path. Don't go that way. You want to trust the good shepherd, the good Lord Almighty, Lord of Lords, King of Kings. He's higher than everything. If you love anything more than him, that's not the way to be. He is so loving and forgiving and merciful. And he wants us to come back to him because he doesn't enjoy destroying people. He doesn't enjoy putting people in a place that they were never meant to, to exist in. But if you don't take part of his salvation, if you don't say Jesus Christ is Lord, then there's no other box to put you in. There's only two choices. Life or death. Those are the two choices. Eternal life with Jesus Christ or eternal torment with people that, you know, that none of them want to be there, you know. It's just, it's your choice though. Because see this spot right here? This heart. It's your space. Everything else, it belongs to Jesus. But this place, this is this is your own spot that you put whatever you want there. And Jesus, he wants to dwell here. But you're the one that ultimately controls that. You decide what you put there. Now, some people, they worship money. <laughs> that, that ain't where it's at. Some people, they worship power. That's not where it's at. Some people, they worship vanity. Looks fade. Looks fade. You know? And now with the AI filters and all that stuff, you can't even be trusting what you're seeing. I'm filterless right here. Like, I, I don't mess with that stuff. Like, I'm genuine. This is what I look like. I don't have no filters on. Like, being dishonest, being treacherous, being jealous, being envious, being a sex addict, being ill-willed in any way, that's not appealing to me. I crave the truth. I crave what's good. And I pray that you do the same. I should pray... Dear Lord Jesus, help me crave what's good and righteous and true and beautiful. Those are the things I want. Now, other people, they may not want those things, but I pray that you would want those things because they're, those are the things that are good. Just lead me in the, pla the path to things that are right and true so that I can dwell with you, Lord, because if you like to sin, if you like to do things that are wrong, you can't hang out with them. You will burst into flame if you were to come into your presence. Uh, man, that ain't where it's at. You don't want that. You want life. You want light. The true path to what's right. His name is Jesus Christ. Emmanuel. Yeshua. Amoshiach Christo. He is so awesome. And that's why I talk about him all the time. And I won't stop. Because why would you? You know, like. I'm not going to trade truth in for a lie because I know where it ends because I've, I've done seen it and it's not appealing. It's not fun. It's not a good time. And I would just highly recommend that you go ahead and, and turn to Christ Jesus while there's still time. So I love you. Jesus loves you. Have a wonderful day.